September 17, 1984 is the date that Transformers the cartoon first aired on TV. In the years since, it's come to be known as Transformers Day. And now, 40 years later, on the 17th of September, 2024, we've got the new film, Transformers 1, coming up very soon in the UK. And Paramount are very kindly, over three weeks ahead of the UK release date, are doing a special screening in London for some very lucky people. Okay, Steve, uh, you're with uh, TF Nation. Now, so some of, exactly, yeah. If it says so, there, yeah. Now, can you explain? Uh, some of us got the shock of our life when we got a message saying that we could come to the screen. Can you explain the, the story behind this whole advanced screening event? Yeah. So basically, there was a special screening on today as part of Transformers Day. So Paramount are putting it on for fans. They got back in touch with TF Nation after the very put on with them the other month. And they said well, they love that. Could we run another competition to give away 20 tickets to people? Mm -hmm. So you know, we ran that. You were one of the winners. A, yeah. You said to me, you only found out the other day. Yeah. I know here two, we are. Two, two days ago, two days I ago. found out. Yeah. So everyone's come down to Leicester Square. Yeah. And it's been, yeah, it's been a great time. Now, am I right? So this is the second time you've seen the film yes, yourself? It is, yes. yes. Uh, what's your how does it feel watching it second time versus first time? So I, um, the first time I saw it, I left saying, right, I'm going to see this again. You know, roll on October, I'll go and pay for it. I'll be there. I want to watch it again. So seeing it again was great. Um, without giving away spoilers, there's lots yeah. going on. And it isn't just the main characters, so yeah. you're kind of looking around. So it gave me a chance to kind of do that, see what was going on in the background. Right. Then you still get sucked into the story, and like I've now seen it twice, and I, I, I loved it. It's definitely yeah. in my top two yeah. films, possibly even number one. Don't really know. It's kind of hard it, yeah. to say. But uh, yeah, I, I loved it, and I'm, I'm, even now I'm going to go and see it again. Yeah, I'm, I was back. amazed. I mean, you know, I had. How can I put it? With my sort of expectations, I was sort of hoping it was going to be good, but it's one of the things you don't want to get too excited and then get disappointed. But with this, I, right from the start, it kind of had me from the start. I'm thinking like, yeah, this, they've got it right. It felt like a right mix, a little bit of humour, good bit of action, good story. That's what a lot of people have thought. The, the first trailer was showing the humorous side almost too much. Yeah. And there, it isn't just like, oh, comedy, 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 all over the place. Yeah. So as soon as the film starts, you realise that and you kind of settle into it and it has such a good storytelling kind of going through the pace I found was really nice throughout yeah. the whole film. You never really get a low moment where you kind of like switch off. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't wait to go see it again. No. Okay, so we've literally just come out of the screening. Uh, ben, what are your thoughts on it? Without, because we're not allowed to give spoilers, because we're still three weeks away from the opening. Uh, what, what was your take on it? I thought it was amazing. Yeah. The, the characters were looked like Transformers, and mm. I really like to see a sequel. Yeah, well, hopefully it will be. I mean, it looks like it should be quite uh, profitable. Uh, Steve, your take on it? Well, you've got great moments for the kids, lots of stuff in there for the G1 fans. Overall, a great experience for anyone who loves films and Transformers. Because, I, mean, I don't know about you, but I noticed it looks like... I, I get the feeling that you actually need to watch it again, because there was stuff happening in the background, which I feel like there's a lot of little Easter eggs yeah. dropped in there. Did you find the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. I saw a lot of Easter eggs, a lot yeah. of familiar faces, as, I, as we yeah. call it. It definitely right. requires a second viewing. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think we're all going to have to do that. And in case, if anyone's wondering, in terms of a second viewing, there is going to be a chance, although we've, st although it's not out for three weeks, on Thursday 19th, there is the European premiere and there are about 13 cinemas in the UK that are live streaming it. So check your local Cineworld, Odin or View. There's a handful of cities around the UK, so you might be able to see it on Thursday evening. I would yeah. recommend to see it. Right. This is one of the best Transformers movies ever. That's a good, that's a very good endorsement. All right, Ben, Steve, thanks ever so much. Okay, uh, George, what was it? First of all, how did you, um, 
how did you come to be here? Did you win uh, this competition? Oh, yeah, one, the Tea of Nation giveaway. That's right. Yep. 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 Very was, it, was it out of interest? Was it via Patreon or was it on YouTube? I mean, I applied for both, but I already had a Patreon. Though, okay, so. right. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. So, uh, your thoughts in the film? IGN does not do it credit. I'm yeah. just saying that five is. Way yeah. too long. It's no, at least an eight. Yeah. If that. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. No, I found it. I mean, so far I've spoken to a couple of others, and what everyone's saying, there's a lot of little Easter eggs. Did you find the same? There was a lot going on on the screen. Oh, I see, especially like with the music. There were so many like slight motifs, which were. I'm just saying, if you yeah. know, if you know your Transformers music, you will, you will hype. I'm just saying, it's right. It's amazing. So it's definitely a film. You've got to see it twice, really, oh, yeah, or maybe, yeah. maybe a bit I'm more. I'm really seeing it twice this week. Oh really? Yeah, oh excellent. The, um, premiere. Oh, the European. This is the yeah. the Thursday night premiere, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Premier. Yeah. Right. So um, yeah, the final the final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts. Got to watch it. Just saying. You got to watch it. Okay. There. You heard it from the man. All right. Cheers, George. Thank you, Andrew. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, how much notice did you get that you were one of the winners uh, to come along to this? It was very last minute. I think like Saturday or something. Yeah. Got the That's it for me. Mail. It was Sunday, yeah. so I've had like two days notice. You've had like yeah. three days. So, what was your first thought when you got the message saying? That you're one of the winners. I can't bloody believe it. I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are the chances? I know exactly. That's the thing, and it's so nice to know that we've got to jump on like virtually everyone else. Yeah. So, uh, without spoilers, as we were saying to everyone, uh, what's your thoughts on the film? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Do, whatever reservations you may have, whatever little PTSD you have from previous films. Yeah. <laughs> forget yeah. about it. Walk into this and enjoy. It. Now, can I ask? Me personally, when I saw that first trailer drop, yep. I was nervous because I thought, oh no, they turned it into a goofy comedy. <laughs> That's That was my initial reaction. Were you thinking along the same lines? or? I actually yeah. didn't mind the first trailer. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was more impressed with the visuals. Yeah. Like, seeing Cybertron look like Cybertron yeah. for like the longest time. Yeah. A Cybertron that's lived in. I know, they, they did a good job on that one, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed what they were going art direction wise more. Right. So, but yeah, some of the some yeah. of that, that first trailer was a bit like, okay, let's, yeah. let's see where, where it's going. It's a, yeah. Now you said about you were impressed with the look of it as well. Yeah. Something I only found out the other day, because most Transformers films, the live action ones, they normally have a budget of over 200 million. Yeah. This apparently was only 70 million it was made for. You wouldn't think so. It looks more expensive, doesn't it? It is so, the animation is so smooth. Like, it's yeah. so, like, the transformations really work really yeah. well. And the fight scenes were really well choreographed. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Safe to say, all the money was up on screen and very good value for money as well because there was a lot there. It it, honestly, most you look at the Disney Pixar films, they're normally like 200 million budget. This was done for less than half of that and it looks every bit as good as anything like that. It was really polished it and, was, it was, yeah. and, it, and it wasn't shy about you know, showing grime and dirt yeah. and yeah. really throwing in those textures and then also having the glistening, yeah. you know, shiny versions of characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So overall, for when it does come out, uh, what's it? Okay, uh, marks out of 10, you know, honest opinion, How? what would you... Ooh, I mean, I've just seen it, so it'll yeah. be a little extra bias. Yeah, I, I would give it a solid eight and a half. That's yeah. interesting. I was thinking about an eight myself. Uh, yeah, that's uh, good. Yeah, uh, in the I same mean, ballpark. I yeah. can't come say it was completely perfect. Yeah, I would definitely need to rewatch it again. Yeah, um, but it's really, it's a lot. It's a lot of what Transformers fans have wanted. Right. You know, it's a nice direction of where they're going. Yeah. And it's and it's not insulting to what came before. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah. Some of them have been a bit. Um, mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's been. Yeah. I think yeah. this is. I think this. I know there's a lot of people out there who've got some opinions about the film. Just give it a chance. Yeah. And just give yeah give it yeah. a watch. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Cheers. Thank you very much. Okay. Abby, uh, first of all, how did you uh, win this competition? Because I won this competition through commenting on the YouTube channel. Right, that's right. And uh, so you've had what about three days' notice? To, about to three get days' to... notice. Yeah. yeah. What was your reaction when you got the reply saying congratulations? It was won? so exciting. Like I uh, got to work the fan screening a couple of months ago, and yeah. the buzz was so exciting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so this is your second time watching it? Is I it? haven't seen it the first time. No, oh. I had to leave after oh, they. Oh right. Uh, okay. After yeah. they did all of the like fan quizzes and right, stuff yeah and then I had to get back to work and then everyone came out got you <laughs> okay <laughs> right okay it. just yeah. like oh 
but it's so exciting to get to see it. And at least you're getting to see it ahead of release as well. Out of interest, are you going to try, have you got tickets for the European live stream in a couple of days? Are no, but I'm going to be working the premiere here. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. oh, you work at this cinema? Yeah, I work at this cinema. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, so this is very local for you, isn't this it? Is yeah. a, this is where I work. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. When are you hoping to, when are you hoping to see it next uh, now, do you think? I think I'll probably wait till release and then right, yeah. probably go and see it in IMAX. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, because it's in here. So you've got super screen and IMAX, haven't you? Largest yeah. screen in the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very nice. Okay, yeah. Benny, what was, your, what was your take on the film? Was this your first time watching it? Yeah, it's my first time watching it. Okay. I was a little hesitant about coming to see this because right. the other Transformers films in the last couple of decades have been, mm. pretty, like, you know, twice burnt, three times burnt. Yeah. But I was so pleasantly surprised with this. Yeah. It was so good. It just it was such a fun ride. And for anyone who's new to the Transformers fandom and for old for the older fans, there was so many like little things to pick up on. Uh, this is the thing that everyone else is saying. There's loads of little things going on in the background and yeah. you've gotta it's almost like you need to watch it a couple of times. I, there were several moments where I was like, Can we just slow down? <laughs> I need to just analyse things a bit more, please. Yeah. Like there's yeah. so so many like like the, all the like crowd scenes, you just want to slow it down and right. pick through it and see who's where. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just super fun. Oh, no, it was. It was genuinely, genuinely fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it was so good. It was yeah. so well done as well, and it was yeah. so beautifully animated. Yeah. You just, I was so happy not to be disappointed. Yeah, that's good. Now I have to ask because obviously you're part of the TF Nation staff. Yes. Um, you, it was your job, along with Steve, part of the crew, well, the crew yeah. right? It was uh, your job to make sure that everyone that was part of the, the winners of the TF Nation uh, behaved themselves. Uh, was every? Did you keep everyone in check today? I don't know. I got too distracted by the film. Is that, <laughs> <is> that good? <laughs> Well, you didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, so obviously people were mostly behaved. Mostly behaved, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. As of much course. as you can be when things are that exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but if anyone did misbehave, she would have been on it straight away. Kicked <laughs> 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 Exactly, yeah. She'd throw them out with a physical warning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. All right, Nick, as you can see, in the background, we've got the trailer running. For everyone else in the UK, we've got to wait till October 11. You've seen it three weeks ahead of schedule. Actually, I, uh, I've seen it twice now. <laughs> I was lucky enough to come with the, with the crew before. Nick saw it twice. Yeah. Who wants to touch him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just as good the second time, if not better, because you can look for all of the nice little cool Easter eggs and things like that, because there's lots in there for all yeah. of you uh, fans out there of the old G1 or even of or even of the other stuff as well. There's loads and loads of cool stuff yeah. to go and look at. It seems to be a nice balance, did not it? Between yeah. there was because the trailers really highlighted the humour in the first trailer. That's why I was a bit nervous it was going to oh, be yeah, goofy. Yeah, yeah. But it seemed to be gently sort of layered out throughout the whole. Yeah, I think this. I think this stuff for adults. There's stuff mm. for mums and dads. There's yeah. stuff for the kids. There's stuff for hardcore yeah. fans. Yeah. Um, there's some nice lines in there that will get you like, oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And there's nice little <laughs> yeah. lines in there. It's really good, and the characterization is fun yeah. and exciting and interesting. So the question is, obviously you've seen it twice before most people haven't seen it once. When it does come out, yeah. are you going to see it a third time? Yes. Yeah. yeah I think I'll do the same as well. 100%. Yeah. It's absolutely worth going to see. Yeah. Um, if it, you, 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 you sometimes feel like, you know, is this going to be as good as the other ones? Or, you know, you're worried about the yeah. others. It is by far the best Transformers film I have seen. And, controversial opinion, is it better than the 86 movie? Ooh. It might be. Wow. It might actually be. Hardcore fan. It might actually be. Mm. This is interesting now. It's interesting. Is because it the, the thing with the 86 movie, that is probably one of the most quoted movies. Up there with exactly. like Top Gun in the 80s. Yeah, yeah, Everyone yeah. knows every line to it. Same with the 86 movie. But it's so intrinsically is, yeah. linked to us. There's so yeah. much nostalgia to it. So you yeah. remove the nostalgia. Yeah. This is probably better. Yeah. It probably is, which is great. It, it had it's, a really solid story with this yeah. and it stuck to it all. It didn't veer off in yeah. weird directions. And it's got a nice pace as well. Yeah. Just pace. It's got funny bits. It's got the... You know, exciting bits, all the, all the yeah. things you want. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's great. Go see it. There you yeah, go. Bring an endorsement from the man who's seen it twice before most of you have seen it zero times. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cheers. Right, so, right, now, the thing is, while this is uh, Transformers Day, anyone who's interested in attending Transformers shows, we've just had the massive one, you know, last month, uh, TF Nation. The big, the big one, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was just... 
well, I've never known it so busy. But however, this is the first time you're doing three in a year now because we have the mini one in Manchester, yeah. just done the big one in August, and it's Reading is coming up next. Reading, yes, yeah, November Saturday, November twenty third. We right. got a one day event. It's at Reading, right. U Reading University in the Great Hall. Tickets, right. tickets still on sale at tfnation.com. Got it. It's again like Manchester, a bit of a smaller event. So if you haven't been before, it's a great first time to come along, get a taste. Meet some of the guests, meet some of the traders. Yep. You'll be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Buy yep. from this man if you can. <laughs> Please. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> going to be, it's going to be fun. So a bit more low key, yeah. but also you get a good, you get a good taste, and then you know, come along to the big event next year we've already announced. Maybe there might be something else in between Reading and. And August, right? Know. Yeah. Now, and then obviously they can get the tickets on your the, the main tickets, TF Nation yeah. website. They're on, yeah. They're on the website. Yeah. We'll yeah. start start to announce guests probably for August. Um, quite soon actually. We've right. got some already signed up. Okay. So, we, so everything's looking good. Billy's already looking in 2026. So, yeah. Oh um, my goodness, but he we'll plans know. ahead. Yeah. We, we we have to do yeah. that that way. It's the yeah. only way to go. As you said, this year we had around 1,800 people mm -hmm. at the big event. So, you know, the planning for that yeah. starts not just for next year, but the year after. How can we make that bigger? How can we make that better? Well, it's safe to say, over the years, TF Nation is, I would refer to as a well-oiled machine. It just runs so smoothly now, and I've just seen it getting more and more professional every year. So, uh, no, hats it's great, off. It's great to yeah, no, no, hats off. It's an excellent job. And, uh, yeah, so basically the verdict from Steve is uh, go and see go it see and it. maybe see it twice, yeah? At, at least what you want you yeah. want to. Go in and see it once, you will come out and be like, I have to go back and see it again. Yeah, yeah, I felt the same way. <laughs> All right, cheers, thanks.